Hello again, and welcome to Fragments of Fragments with me, Lewis Kirk. In this episode, I'd like to deal with the issue of our uh, smartphone addiction, or you can also call it nomophobia, which is uh, literally translates to the fear of being without your phone. So the 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 main questions that have caused me to think about this are um, along the lines of wh who's in control, who who can who has the control, you or your phone, and d do you control your time spent on social media, or do your social media accounts control you? And yeah, this uh, this nomophobia it's a, it's a real thing it's, uh, it's serious in some people's cases and a survey found that three out of five of us uh, can't go for more than an hour without having to check their phone um, and the image the featured image on the uh, on the blog post you know that that image of a a restaurant table, table at a restaurant and uh, lovely setting, lovely food, but everyone's not engaging, they're all on their smartphones and I'm sure anyone that travels on the tube in London has seen it as well, <clears throat> a whole carriage full of people um, yeah, just sitting on their, uh, in their seat, lo looking at their phone and engaging in, in whatever they're, whatever they're doing. And I'm not saying that uh, smartphones are bad. Of course, they're not. People run uh, huge businesses from their from their iPhone, and you can communicate with everyone uh, who has internet access across the whole world. And you've got the uh, the whole of human knowledge. You know, Google is the uh, it's the most used search engine in the world and I think I remember the stat like one in six questions asked to Google have never been asked before so that's quite a huge thing that um, it's a huge tool and my point is that if we use it wisely if we use it well and if we uh, if we stay in control and uh, because every minute that we spend unproductively on our phones uh, is a uh, is time that we we're missing out on life. Ultimately, um, we're missing out on on real social experiences and life interactions. If we're if we're doing something and we're not um, we're not engaged where we are. If we're uh, if we're on our phones. And um, the, the reason I felt like sharing this with you and uh, that caused me to think about it a lot more is um, since starting this vlog and the, the, the blog that I host it on is getting a lot more traffic. And so uh, last week is my first week and, and I found myself probably more more than I needed to looking at the uh, the comments how many people had viewed it the youtube analytics so i found myself uh, more and more frequently on these uh, analytical sites and pages looking at the uh, how many hits and views it had had uh, where the people in the world are watching it how long they were watching it for and obviously uh, comments and likes and and it all uh, it all well there, there was a there was a point where I was doing it more regularly than I would and um, it just occurred that, that it, it's a slippery slope or I, I felt that for me it's a slippery slope if I if I become obsessed with that then it's almost taken away from from what I'm trying to do by sharing these things to to uh, w that I feel would benefit people, so I I'm hopefully benefiting your life and then ruining my life because I'm uh, getting obsessed with the uh, the analytics of it all and and getting swamped in that. So, 
and and this is understandable. The science has uh, shown us that um, when you when you get a like or a view or a comment, the the brain will get a uh, a hit of uh, serotonin and or, or dopamine, which is uh, attached to like um, the, the the chemicals that produce happiness in uh, in your life. So when you when you passed your driving test, you had a huge rush of of dopamine and serotonin when you approach that um, that um, attractive individual, and they responded, and you ended up uh, exchanging numbers and arranging a, a meeting. That feeling that you get that's a huge rush of dopamine or serotonin that makes you feel that real happiness. You know the happiness that your soul's singing, that you. You, you're skipping away. That, that's because uh, the brain, uh, the receptors in the brain that control these chemicals, uh, they're, they're releasing uh, a huge rush of it. And so that's why social media will give that to you in, in, little, in little pricks and prods. So you put a picture up, or someone's liked it. That's a little, uh, a little needle's worth of dopamine and serotonin. And so... I've found it for myself from experience, it's as if by staying on there for longer, we feel that it may give us what we're looking for in these real life interactions. Like I say, you pass your driving test, that's a huge deal. And you um, set up a, a date with uh, with an attractive member of the uh, the opposite sex or or even the same sex, if that's your thing. And and that feeling that you get, we're, we're looking for that in our smartphones. And so, yeah, when our phone beeps, when it's a comment, a like, um, yeah, yeah it, it gives us the same hit that uh, that I just spoke about. And so here are, here are a few signs. I'm sure that if you look at your life and your relationship with your phone, uh, it should probably be clear whether you're on it too much or, or maybe you're not on it enough, you know, maybe you, you need to get a bit more active and uh, more social on, on the, the social networks because there, there is benefit, but I'm saying that we must remain in control. We can't uh, while away our, our hours that we have an allotted number of just staring at our screen and, and hoping for a, a big rush of of dopamine and serotonin because it's much easier to come by in real life experiences by doing the things that we enjoy that we love that's how we're going to get these uh, these experiences and it's less likely that we're going to find them on on our phones and on social media so a, f a few signs that you might be spending a bit too much time on your social media if you often are looking at your phone while you're engaging with someone while you're having a conversation if it's nothing for you to just pull your phone out you're having a chat and you're you're also looking at your phone uh th that's um that's a sign um if if the first thing that you do when you're um when you get to an, a new place is is to put your phone on charge that's another sign um if you if if you were to this one a surprise because it's not I'm not quite uh, as as deep in as this, but if you fall asleep regularly holding onto your phone, so you, yeah, you you just on your phone until you literally exhaust all your energy and fall asleep. That's um, that's not very beneficial for a, a good night's sleep. And I suppose um, the the opposite to this is if you wake up in the morning, the first thing you do is instantly. You, you're checking your phone straight away, first thing, open your eyes up, oh, the alarm's gone off, you pick it up, turn the alarm off, and then right in, you know, right in to, uh, to, to check what, what's been going on, is anyone, can I get a, a little bit of uh, happiness, some dopamine and serotonin, right first thing in the morning to, to make my day um, start off in the right way, and so for, from everything that I've said, I um, I'm trying to implement um, certain restrictions, certain ways to limit the time that I spend checking these analytics and checking uh, my social media feed. Obviously, if someone leaves a comment or sends me a message, then of course it's courteous and and I'll be obliged to reply. But 
when I found myself, you know, every hour or two, oh, how many people have watched looks and more people have watched and, and all this, that I've felt is almost, it's, it's not why I'm doing it. I'm not doing it to get loads of people to watch it. I'm doing it so that maybe one or two people might really enjoy it and and get something out of it. Like say, if you if you uh, if you feel that you're on your phone too much and you're seeing this and what I've said about the the chemicals that are um, produced in the brain, you think, oh yeah, that, that sounds uh, that sounds about right. That's what I'm after. Um, this is um, this is why I do it. Not not for the numbers. And yeah, I'm I'm not succeeding. Obviously, uh, it, it's a, it's a difficult thing. We we've been doing it for a long time, and and unless we address these things, it's difficult to to work them out. So um, some things that I will share straight away is sometimes what I do if I want to have a productive evening, if I want to get focused and do some planning, or um, do some reading up about a certain subject. Then I'll just turn my phone onto airplane mode, and that way I know. There's not going to be any beeps. Um, no one can get hold of me now. This is uh, precious time now. The kids are in bed. I'm going to um, I'm going to get to work and be focused for for whatever it is, an hour or two, and then maybe go to bed as well without even checking it. And and if you do this yourself, if you've never done it, and you do this, let's say eight o'clock or whenever you decide, put the phone on airplane mode and. And get productive and then just go to bed you know you don't have to uh check in every uh every hour as uh three out of five of us do or uh or j just just for the hell of it because that's something that you always do and uh one thing that i am quite strict with myself with is uh to to not have my phone nearby when the uh when i'm with my children when i'm playing or looking after and uh I'm um, being with my children. It's something that I want to, I want to be with them. I want to be in their their energy. You know, their their childlike um, fun energy, and we we play and do it. And in the past, I I catch myself, you know, engaged in the social media. And my daughters said, "Daddy, daddy, daddy," three times, and I'm I'm looking at the phone, and then I have to I come to and think, what, what am I doing? You know, what am I, what's happening? So. When when that happens too regularly, um, it, it becomes clear that it's uh, that that it's an issue. And um, yeah, I mean, if if you feel that this has helped you, l let me know and share any any habits or um, ways that that you plan to to do this. You know, have a have an intermittent phone fast and put your phone on airplane mode for for certain periods of the day from eight in the night till eight in the morning i won't look at the phone or i'll just be looking at my phone i'll check uh you know i can go on my phone between eight and nine in the morning and evening or whatever it is for you it depends how hardcore you want to go with this or maybe you think nah i love looking at my social media I'm, i won't be doing that and <laughs> that, that's okay as well you know i'm not here to to preach or to say that that's bad you need to put it down I'm just sharing my experience with uh, with, with the phone, and particularly since starting this, uh, having the, the analytics. So, yeah, if you think that there's a, a friend of yours that's on their phone uh, too often, and while you're trying to talk to them, they're constantly looking at their phone, then send it to them as well. Like and uh, subscribe to the the YouTube channel if you haven't already in this video, and and yeah, sh share if. You think it can help someone else? I've done this one with without a script, although I had a few uh, points. Feeling a lot more comfortable. I'm sure I've still um, repeated myself a few times and and not uh, not critical and concise, but with uh, with practice, uh, I feel that that it's coming. So thanks for watching. Uh, get in touch and share any feedback. Um, particularly regarding the topic of phones. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Be good, look after yourself. See you soon.